Mal O'Brien is officially out of the 2024 CrossFit Games. She originally stepped back from CrossFit because she said it was affecting her well-being. It's completely understandable that that amount of pressure that she was under would get too much. And she explained a little bit further in this video. I feel very like at peace, I would say. I felt very like overwhelmed and frustrated and anxious the past few months and now being here in Hawaii, I feel very at peace and kind of like it's a fresh start for myself. That being said, I won't be competing in the 2024 season. She said she felt very overwhelmed, frustrated and anxious. So this really points towards like the mental health aspect of why she might have stepped back from CrossFit. There is a lot to do within CrossFit. You almost can't train for every single element and every single year CrossFit brings in more elements to just add into the mix that you have to train for. And that can definitely bring about a lot of anxiety. It's easier to train for something like a triathlon or high rocks when you know exactly what the event is going to look like but I can imagine how overwhelming it must be for somebody to train for every single element that might come up and that's not even the same as those of us that compete at CrossFit in a lower level. At our level we kind of know what's going to be in there. You're not going to have like a kayak or a swim run or any of that but at Mal's level there's a lot of extra stuff that you might need to plan for and that alone creates a lot of pressure but Mal experienced so much pressure from people saying that she was going to be the next tier that she was going to win and I think in hindsight the CrossFit space have realized that maybe that wasn't the best decision because that could have had this detrimental effect on Mal. And we've seen the CrossFit space have a slightly negative impact on some of the other younger athletes. People like Hayley Adams struggling with comments on her body. And there are certain spaces of CrossFit that seem to feel like it's okay to comment on the bodies of some of these younger female athletes, which is just not okay. Making derogatory comments about people's bodies is not okay full stop. But all of these little things just add to the pressure that she is under. Mal, at only 20 years old, has more self-awareness and self-compassion than I have had most of my life. And I'm so proud of her and amazed by her and impressed by this because she is setting an amazing example for the future generations. She's moved to Hawaii with her boyfriend, which seems like an incredible place. And I love that she was shown like surfing and just having a great time. I'm not putting a timeline on anything and I'm just kind of letting it play out and see what feels best for me. She's young and that's absolutely what she should be doing with her life. But let's also consider CrossFit as a career. As a CrossFit athlete, you don't make a huge amount of money unless you're right at the top. And most athletes have to boost their income by working with lots of different sponsors. But the thing is, Mal already has over 700,000 followers on Instagram. And as somebody that works in social media, I know that that can translate into a fair amount of brand sponsorships and deals. And especially as a 20 year old, Mal probably doesn't need to earn such a huge amount of money, but she could definitely definitely support herself based off of her own content even without doing CrossFit. And I'm still like planning to produce content, create some of my own stuff and have the freedom to train how I want and what feels good for my body. She's already got an incredible fan base within CrossFit and they clearly support her whether she's doing the sport or not. I'll personally want to follow whatever she does anyway but we've also got other CrossFitters in the space showing that you don't necessarily need to be doing CrossFit to make a career out of fitness even if you built your name with in CrossFit. Christy Aramo O'Connell, I think that's how you say it. I'm terrible with pronouncing last names. <laughs> she has started her career outside of CrossFit now. She has a big YouTube channel. She's gone more into like hybrid training. She's doing a high rock. She's doing a little bit more running. She's making content based on that kind of hybrid training methodology instead of CrossFit. And it's clear there's a huge appetite for content within that space. But as an athlete or a fitness content creator, you don't have to be as good at so many things in order to coach people or make content about hybrid training or high rocks or that just general functional fitness as you would if you were in the CrossFit space. There has also been some speculation by Barbell Spin that Mal might try out high rocks and this would make total sense because it's less overwhelming, there are less things that you have to train for and I think she'd probably do very well. Obviously it is way more weighted to running than it is the functional fitness elements, but she's a competitive athlete, she would figure that out if that's what she decided to do. And I think Christy's probably gonna do pretty well in that space as well. I wonder how many CrossFitters we're gonna see transition over to these other areas of sport like high rocks, athletics, decafit, and the other things that are springing up in the hybrid training space. This is why all the chat around CrossFit is dying is kind of silly because CrossFit is a name brand company and maybe that will go out of favour but the functional training hybrid space is definitely growing a lot. It's way more common seeing people training for performance and functionality than it used to be and that's so cool. 
Mel doesn't need to do CrossFit for us to support her and appreciate what she does. And even just making this announcement, she's setting an amazing example for young people out there. And hopefully it will give more people permission to put themselves first and put their mental health and well-being first. And just seek out the things that bring them joy because that is what is important in life. The hustle and grind culture is way too glamorized. And at the end of the day, as long as you can make enough money doing something that you love and you can live a life that makes you happy and you value it for how it feels over how it looks. That's what truly matters. And Mal is incredible for going against the grain and doing that. I can't wait to see what she does next. I hope she puts more on her YouTube channel because I'd love to watch more YouTube videos from her. CrossFit has rivals and some of them are more inclusive than CrossFit. This could change literally everything. If you're interested in hearing more about that, then watch this video next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.